Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be doing a love reading for you today. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. We're going to start off with some romance angels and see where the energy takes us, okay? Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel out, and I would greatly appreciate that, all right? Whoa, they are already talking, all right? Let's go. <laughs> Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So somebody is going to be showing up and showing out in a grandiose fashion, all right? Here they come. Um, I think it's asking somebody to be ready. Be ready for what they've been really putting out there in the ethers, you know? Calling in their soulmates, visualizing their soulmates, you know, praying about, you know, this union coming together. So when it arrives, you better be ready to accept, all right? So very soon, you're going to be receiving some sort of contact from your person, okay? Oh my gosh. All right, another one for the collective in love. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're traveling. Somebody's traveling to see one another, okay? Or they are planning this little romantic little getaway. They really are craving an intimate moment, but emotional intimacy. And if it leads to physical intimacy, hey, it goes there, right? But somebody really wants some quality time with their person. And they want everything to be just right. Because what they have planned and what they want to say really is coming from the heart and they want it to be an experience all right they want to make it uh, into something that you'll never forget and if there is any sort of competition this is the front runner all right this is the front man the front woman <laughs> they they want to seal the deal they don't want any um you know, after this experience, there is no competition, all right? This is <laughs> pretty heavy-duty energy. It says honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, all right? So somebody just wants, okay. So they just want a really impactful, sweet experience with the person that they that's on their mind the person that they love let me say it this person loves you collective all right and they're planning something really special in the background so that you know that so you remember that <laughs> and so um, you can get those other ones that might be you know you have on the bench <laughs> yeah the this person wants that bunch to be cleared, all right? No cedars. <laughs> so, um, also, you know, it says honeymoon. So, somebody could be wanting to, if you're in a relationship with this person, somebody might just want something very spontaneous, and somebody just might want to elope. Just whisk you away and elope. I'm feeling like destination wedding, all right? If that is a relationship that's ready for that kind of thing okay so <laughs> let's see another one for the collective in love oh my gosh all right there's a big chunk that wants to come out maybe i'll read it i'll actually just all right yeah you deserve love you are lovable all right so Somebody's ready to strike. Somebody's ready to strike the arrow. <laughs> You're on somebody's radar. Or they're on your radar collective. But somebody's about to get hit with Cupid's arrow. Somebody... Somebody's walking around already impaled by the arrow. Okay. <laughs> 
somebody's walking around all goo goo gaga in love over their person, people are starting to question what's wrong with so and so. Does so and so seem right today? And, you know, uh, you're just like in la la land. Somebody's on cloud nine. I feel like somebody's being asked questions or somebody has to repeat what's being asked of them and they have to snap out of it. They have to snap back into reality. Somebody is very heavy on somebody's mind and I just feel like that's that energy of love. It just like takes you over. <laughs> All right, it says playfulness. So somebody wants to get a little dirty, a little flirty. Let's go, it says playfulness. This is what I'm feeling. You know, somebody wants like a little road trip or a little getaway. I don't know. They just want an experience. They want to have some fun. They want to enjoy your company. All right. It says playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So that, yeah. Whatever you're doing, I feel like it's going to be kind of exciting. All right. There's so like a few little tricks up this person's sleeve. Why am I feeling like, um, I don't know. I'm feeling like either you or them or maybe both, but you're like those advent, like those ex like maybe like extreme sports. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, like snowboarding or mountain climbing <laughs> or um, motorbikes, you know, like I don't know, but I just feel like, or like, what are those things, those like jet skis on the water? Like, <laughs> I just feel like if, even if you're not that person, you're a, your person is, and they're like going to take somebody out of their comfort zone. So there, this person has a few little tricks up their sleeve regarding this little situation. This person really wants to have fun. They want to laugh. They want, it's all about bringing down the walls, letting your guard down, and uh, enjoying the experience freely, okay? So I think this is what this is all about. I think this is kind of like also maybe like a trust builder type thing too, okay? All right, let's see. Let's get into it with the Kipper. What else can I tell my collective about this love reading? <laughs> all right, we have the main male that wanted to jump right away. Do you see, like that's that spontaneous? Uh, yeah, this person wants to like take action. They wanna have fun. They wanna do something. <laughs> okay, and then we have toil and labor. So, yeah, you know, this person works hard, but they wanna play hard too. And they wanna play with you not player type, but they want to have fun with you. All right, playfulness. Okay, I don't know if you can see that picture, it's super cute. All right, okay. You might work with this person, but like I said, they're a very hard worker and, you know, I don't know if they have a lot of time during the week. I, I feel like this is a person that like puts in the hours so when they do get free time, it's very valuable. So they make the most of it. This is, I feel like somebody that makes the most out of their, their fun time here, okay? Like every minute might be action packed, okay? <laughs> oh, here's the invite. Here's the letter. Here's the invitation. Let's go. Here it is. Somebody's, somebody's been really, I said, really heavily thinking about the person on their mind and they wanna make this situation official. Also, somebody could be whisking somebody away on this little getaway to propose. I know I said that. We have the Empress card that wanted to come out. So somebody sees someone as the queen of all queens. They see them as their end all be all. They hold you in very high regard. They see you as everything, all right? Um, it, they also see you as marriage material and this the Kipper deck it's ruled by the 12 all right the one and the two that's a three three is the marriage card here in the Kipper deck okay and this person is wearing like a gown <laughs> also 
three in traditional tarot is the Empress card. So they are just drawn like a moth to the flame. All right. Uh, they want to spoil you is what I'm feeling. They really want to spoil this energy or vice versa. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with the Libra energy hits here and well is the Aries energy. You don't have to be. I'm just saying that with the one that represents the Aries energy. And then with the um, the privileged lady, or the that's Empress energy in traditional tarot. Okay. And here's the exchange. Here's the message. And somebody does feel like this is a divinely guided union. All right. So you are to receive this invitation very, very soon. It said that right off the bat. And also said it with the masculine that just jumped right out. <laughs> so somebody's really taking action. You know, with that one also is the Ace of Wands energy that takes action. So there's a phone in this picture. So somebody could be calling you. Somebody could be texting you. Somebody uh, might be inboxing you here. Okay. With, so keep the lines of communication open at this time. Okay. <laughs> All right. One more for... The collective in love oh my gosh what they have to say is going to take somebody back what they have to say what kind of message is going to be expressed changes it all but changes things for the best okay it is ruled by the 14 the one in the four that's five five represents changes in tarot there is a light bulb moment that went off but I'm feeling that whatever she's reading is just like, this is what changed. This is what put somebody on cloud nine. This is what has somebody daydreaming. They're a little taken back by the message. Do you see how it's all flowing together? Okay. She was just like, oh my God, yes. I've been waiting on this fucking message. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we get. You might know that the community card was at the bottom. Okay. Like I said, you know them from someplace somewhere. Um, they li might live in your town. They might have um, a friendly connection with people in your family. You might uh, have known them from work. Or you might um, be on their social network, you know. Quite possibly you might share the same interest and you are, you know, you're involved in some sort of group activity online and you cross paths that way. I feel like this is might be like an opposite attracts energy, but it's a, a balanced energy. Like I say, it's like somebody might, the, one part of the energy might be a little grounded, all right, and, and emotional, and then the other one is like, spits fire okay like, like let's go let's have some fun <laughs> but it's a perfect match okay all right let's see what else oh do i dread this deck this one is filled with all sorts of goodies <laughs> what do we have for the collective what do we have for the collective let's shed a little bit more light let's get a little deeper for the collective in love Okay. 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 So somebody might have been a little guarded because... Okay. You two both might be coming out of or... Because there are almost two cards that represent the same thing. So maybe in the past you both had toxic relationships that weren't meant to work out. And meeting your real person, your real soul connection, you're going to see why. You know, why it didn't work out. It says getting played, manipulation, lies, and control. And this is somebody that uh, I'm feeling like somebody was involved with a narcissist at the time. Okay, somebody that was very controlling, that wanted to play puppet master, that wanted to um, 
be very possessive. I think they, somebody was a little traumatized after their last. I'm feeling like this is past energy, okay? All right, and then the other card that came out says trash. Throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. So yeah, somebody's getting out or made their way out of a toxic relationship to be towards you, okay? A little bit more. Okay, fulfilling a fantasy. I told you. Somebody was daydreaming. Somebody's fantasizing. I think you both are. I think one more than the other, but then when they drop this message, okay, somebody starts feeling the exact same way, okay? And it's like you can't run into your person's energy fast enough, all right? So it says fulfilling a fantasy. <laughs> and then it says self-awareness. Tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. All right. Somebody has a type. <laughs> or somebody would get stuck in the, the pattern of, of some sort of toxic, narcissistic, controlling. Okay, this is not that. And very soon you will realize that, okay, what the difference is. It's like almost like you were shown what you don't want and learn from it so you know what you do want and you respect it and treat it the right way. You know, you accept it you nurture it and you love it okay all right let's see oh my god i'm just gonna leave that there that is just too much look at this big old deck okay and you saw if you know i don't pull my cards i let spirit speak divine counterpart divine counterpart you can read it backwards you can read it forwards here we go <laughs> divine counterpart a divine connection sent to you from the angels okay so yeah you both feel it you both feel it this is a mutual love connection okay and it's going to be a different experience than whatever you know, I want to say something um, vulgar, but I won't. But I'll just call him the toxic narcissistic relationship person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, what is the mutual? What does my collective have to say to their person? What does the person have to say to my collective? The message in between. Yo. <laughs> it's here twice. It's here twice. So, yo, you all better get ready. You better fucking prepare. You better, like, have that little getaway bag, you know, ready to go. Soon. It's here twice. We have very soon, and then we have soon, okay? I'm going to contact you very soon. Uh, what the hell did I say? <laughs> okay, here we go. Contact you very soon, and then it, everything changes from there. Whoa. All right, collective, let's go. Let's go, collective. Oh, it's here twice. Okay. <laughs> All right, this one says playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting is to get your attention. Okay. So. All right. I don't know if this is tying in. Okay. It, Things are repeating, but I don't know if I want to. Okay. 
So this person is trying to draw it. This person's trying to draw their person a little closer. So now what I'm feeling is that you do have some sort of social media connection with them. All right. I think this person is feeling the waters with like things that they're posting, seeing if you like it. I think this person, this person keeps an eye on you. Okay. And I think you vice versa keep an eye on each other, but one is more, um, shows the effort, shows their hand a little bit more, but whatever they post, they post things that, I mean, like I said, there's a little admiring going on here. Somebody has done their homework on their person. So they know their likes, they know their dislikes. So whatever they're posting, I feel are things that you like, things that are you're interested in, and they're trying to get your attention that way. I don't think they're trying to play a game with you to get you on the line, but I think they're trying to have things go in their favor, yeah? I think they're posting things so um, they get your attention. They want your attention focused on them. So they're posting things that are relevant to you and seeing if you're going to pay attention to them and seeing if you're liking them, okay? But I think that you know what's going on. So maybe you're the player. <laughs> okay, collective. Because maybe you're not liking them. Maybe you're over acting like you're over. Look, you saw it. You saw it, collective. Um, but you, did you put any heart emoji? Did you, did you give it a thumbs up? Did you say, you know have any sort of comments I don't think you did but you saw it and you did like it and you did love it all right <laughs> so I think okay that's the playfulness that's the playfulness all right the dirty the flirty I don't think it's you know that narcissistic energy I think that's somebody can recognize the signs from past trauma all right so I think that's why that's there. All right. All right. And this one says the future. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. How many times, how many times did I say this first? I said it first before this card came over. Okay. It says the future. Somebody is in Goo Goo Gaga land right now. You both are. All right. But someone's hiding it more than the other. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I daydream about our future together. I daydream. I told you. Okay. I daydream about our future together. Going on adventures. I, yo. Oh my gosh. Going on adventures. <laughs> and growing old together. I want it all. Okay. That's beautiful. I don't know. Should I do one more? One more message between the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all are going to know what you mean to each other. Okay. I just feel like this is, is something in progress. Something that's, that's growing. That's coming together. It's a match. It's, it's a divine counterpart. It's still here. Okay. You guys have some sort of connection. I don't know. All right. Like, and if it doesn't have to do with music, it has to do with some sort of interest you both have an interest in. Or what did I say? They pay attention. They pay attention to your interests, your likes, your dislikes, and vice versa. You shared something with this person, or they shared it with you, and they keep it close to their heart. Let's read it. It says, still listening. I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. Okay, so yeah. Whatever you shared, they really value it, or whatever that is. And it makes them think of you. All right, this is mushy, it's gushy, in the best possible
possible way, right, collective? All right, let's see. Advice for the collective and signs that they could be dealing with. Okay. All right, you could be <laughs> you could be dealing with a Scorpio, big time. Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so um, so yeah, they closed something out with this other relationship. All right, with that trash card, they threw away the trash, they made space, they did the healing, and then when they didn't. When they were ready, when the universe thought that they were ready and healed enough, Cupid was waiting and Cupid struck at just the right time, okay? Somebody closed something out. Also, like I said, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. What are the other cards that came out? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're single and ready to mingle. This is the single ladies card. Could be dealing with a Virgo. The Nine of Pentacles, okay. So, somebody is shining from the inside out. Somebody is driven, somebody is focused, somebody is nurturing. Somebody is abundant, or what did I say? Somebody is very career and goal driven, achievement driven. They don't go into anything all willy-nilly. There's too much at stake. They're not married yet, but the Four of Wands is definitely on their mind. It's very present. It's like sneaking up on them. And there is a little message with this falcon that changes everything from somebody going, okay, from the Nine of Pentacles and probably going into the Queen of Pentacles. All right, which is usually somebody in a long-term relationship or somebody that's married all together. All right. You could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. I know the Virgo strongly rules this card. But you called them in or they called you in with the law of attraction. You're very attracted to this person's garden. All right. And somebody's, you know... If somebody has their garden very, very protected, somebody's looking to jump that fence, okay? <laughs> and make it to their person and make it very well known how they feel. All right, another one for the collective. Oh my gosh, yeah, somebody was holding back. You or them. So somebody went internal with it. Um, somebody had some beautiful star seeds that came out of this toxic relationship, okay? And they decided to plant them. That's what brought them to the Nine of Pentacles. More earth energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But whatever they did in this time grew them from the inside out. Alright? Wow. I'm seeing a money tree. Alright? The earth energy is Pentacles. All right, so here's the money tree, right? So I think somebody's very secure in their finance. Another one for the collective. Okay, all right. So somebody cut off this Seven of Swords energy that's here. This, this player, this trash energy that's here. This is that Seven of Swords. So... Um, I think this is a warning card that somebody really realizes that this is the finale, this past relationship. This person is such a narcissist, they think that they could still have access to you whenever they want. They could sneak in, they could sneak out. They could hold something over your head. Um... They might have one more stunt up their sleeve. So just be careful because you have a love offer coming in. Your person is coming in. You both have already been hit with the arrow, <laughs> okay? Um, and this is what's bringing out the Seven of Swords. This is what's, um, this background behavior is being exposed because you're in love and 
this narcissistic energy is going to try to put a stop to it before it begins okay so this is the why i had to um these are why these cards are here and this is the advice all right the advice portion so um just be aware someone from your past that you have past history with you or them is going to be making a little special appearance in the very near future as well all right and you could be dealing with an aquarius gemini or libra with that energy yeah they want to try to bring an end to this offer to this new beginning to this new love they don't want to see you happy <laughs> and most of all they don't want to see you um, be happy w without them. The thing is, this person has control issues. And it's not even about love or loving you or wanting a real relationship with anymore. They just want that, that hold, that tie. And I said somebody like that's very possessive. Be careful with this energy, okay? That's why it needed to be said. All right, another one for the advice for the collective in love. Okay, so yeah, things are coming around. <laughs> or this is that past energy that's gonna be lurking around in the background, making its way. All right, um, because the Three of Pentacles is here. So somebody wants to throw their two cents in. Somebody wants to get in the way, a third party. All right. So there's two lovers. And then here's this trash energy, okay? <laughs> it's so trash energy. Look at this shit. Look at it. That's so trash energy. <laughs> you want it to be over. Um, and they're trying to create an ending trying behind the scenes playing puppet master okay they think that they still have some sort of hold on you that's why but that's the energy of a narcissist they might be coming back around all right so just be careful all right another one more advice for my collective I'll close it up okay so <laughs> Um, you are going to have a win. You're going to have a victory. You are getting your wish fulfillment. In the end, love conquers all. You're going to be raising a glass and celebrating and having a wonderful time with the person that you love. In a very uh, romantic ambiance. Alright, this looks like somebody's on their travels. Somebody is, um, I don't know, in some sort of intimate setting here we have a chandelier we have a lot of drinks a lot of celebration having fun with the person that that you value that you really want to have um some one-on-one -on -one quality time and i think somebody's really going to express their feelings in spades uh, they might have a liquid courage <laughs> and then uh, the floodgates open but at the end of it all, your wish comes true, collective. You'll be with the person that you're meant to be with. And it's going to be a total... It's going to be the real thing. And you're going to see the difference between what was and what is soon to come. All right, I'm going to leave it there for my collective. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. and let you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.